What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I do want to talk about draft prospect Nolan Smith, but if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you'll know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content, hit that like button for your boy. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys for your continued support. If you'd like to donate to my channel, you can donate to my cash app, which is the dollar sign Jew Talk Sports. And if you'd like to be a part of my Jew Talk Sports membership, you can hit that join tab here on the channel as well. Uh, but with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So as I mentioned in today's video, I do want to talk about draft prospect Nolan Smith. Uh, he is one of those guys that I've been hearing his name a lot um, in regards to possibly being drafted by the Falcons. And I do believe he's a player that's moving up team's draft board. Um, I actually did some research on Nolan Smith this past weekend. I went back and listened to his interviews at the Combine. And he was a guy that really impressed me after listening to his uh, interview, um, listening to his story of how he was raised and things of that nature. And just listen, listening to his story uh, at Georgia. Uh, he is a guy that's about 6'3", uh, 240 pounds. And he is a guy that I think the Falcons could be targeting uh, at eight. Being that Terry Fontenot and his coaching staff, they talked about possibly drafting more Georgia-born players, which he was born in the state of Georgia. And he also played at the University of Georgia. I really could see him in a Falcons uniform. Um, he's a high-character guy. He talked about at uh, Georgia. He kind of had to sit behind the upperclassmen. He didn't start right off the bat. He sat behind guys like Aziz Ojolari and kind of learned the ropes for them older guys. And then eventually his junior and senior year, uh, when the Georgia Bulldogs won back-to-back -back titles, he was one of the leaders of that Georgia defense. So he is a guy that's very smart. We always talk about, um, Terry Fontenot talks about having guys that are smart, uh, tough players, and fast players. And to me, Nolan Smith fits all three of those categories. Uh, he's a guy that's very explosive. Um, at the combine, he did run a 4340, which is really impressive uh, for his size. So he is one of the fastest edge rushers in this draft. Uh, he has great bend. He's a guy that can bend the edge. He's also a guy that you can use kind of as an off-ball linebacker in certain situations because he has that speed and he um, is very aware of spacing and things of that nature. So I definitely could see him possibly being in this Ryan Nielsen scheme as an outside linebacker. And I definitely think that he would bring uh, toughness to this team, leadership to this team. And I really think the Falcons could be targeting him at eight. Um, another thing about uh, his game, I kind of compare him, uh, his comp. He says he watched a lot of Von Miller. Um, that's who he kind of models his game after. And I do think his ceiling could be Von Miller. Um, I don't like comparing players to other players because Von Miller is one of the greatest uh, pass rushers of all time. But I definitely see the player comp in the size and him having that speed around the edge, similar to a Von Miller. And I do think maybe his ceiling could be a Von Miller. But I also think that he reminds me of a player like Hassan Reddick, a guy that's kind of undersized playing that edge position, uh, but a guy that's really strong for his size. If you go take a look at some of the tape and highlights of Nolan Smith, even though he only he's only 240 pounds, I actually seen him bull rushing guys. Um seeing him bull rushing like offensive linemen and things of that nature, uh, changing speed to power. So he's a guy that can do it all. I was also really impressed by seeing him actually, um, you know, making tackles for loss in the run game as well. So being that the Atlanta Falcons have beef, uh, beefed up um, our interior defensive line, bringing in guys like Calais Campbell, uh, bringing in guys like uh, Anyamata, bringing back Eddie Goldman, and then you have Grady Jarrett. Uh, we have a lot of size. Uh, on the interior of this defensive line. And I definitely could see them bringing in a guy uh, like a Nolan Smith to add to the pass rush rotation. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see them draft a guy in Nolan Smith, but I'm a huge fan of the, uh, I'm a huge fan of not only the player, but the person. I definitely think if he were to come to Atlanta, he seems like he's a no nonsense type of guy. And we know that Arthur Smith, Terry Fontenot, and um, our front office is big on guys uh, that are have great character off the field. So I definitely could see a Nolan Smith being a part of this Atlanta Falcons team. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they go after him at eight. 
But I definitely think that he has great versatility. And that's something that this Atlanta Falcons team, you know, they always are looking for guys that can play multiple positions, play special teams. And I definitely could see him as a guy as an off ball linebacker at times, a guy that you can use rushing the passer. And with us got having guys on this uh, defense like a Caden Ellis that was brought in, um, you know, Ryan Nielsen really likes guys that not only uh, can rush the passer, but guys that are versatile and that can do other things like drop in the coverage, like spy on mobile quarterbacks and things of that nature. And I do think that a guy like Nolan Smith brings that to the table. But you guys let me know what you think of Nolan Smith. Um, I definitely think that he would be one of those popular names here in Atlanta because he played at the University of Georgia and he was one of the better edge rushers uh, for that University of Georgia's team that won back-to-back -back titles. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised to see him uh, in an Atlanta Falcons uniform. But with that being said, this being your boy, Ju. I'll holler at you guys in the next video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. Be blessed. Peace.